and welcome to another video. My name's Claire and I am Claire. Bleh. Yes, I am. <laughs> G'day and welcome to another video. My name's Claire from Crochet with Claire and today we're going to learn how to make these face scrubbies and they sell like hotcakes. These are great to add to Christmas gifts or any gift for that matter. They are used for cleaning your face or for taking off makeup and they work really, really well. There is a free written pattern located on my website. I will put a link for you in the description box below the video and also the comment section as well. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies, we're going to need some cotton yarn. This is 100% cotton yarn. It is an Australian brand from Bendigo Woolen Mills. I will put a link for that in the description box, but you can use any cotton yarn that you have this is an eight ply which is equivalent to a double knit or a number three weight yarn but if you have a ten ply a number four weight yarn or an Aran weight cotton you can also use that as well you will need a bigger crochet hook that I am using I am using a 3.5 you could use a four millimeter or a G size crochet hook I have quite loose tension so that's why I'm choosing one a bit smaller but if you're using a worsted weight I would suggest a H size crochet hook which is a 5mm crochet hook. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to sew in our ends. My yarn's a little bit squiggly because I am just recycling a project that I had made a little while ago so that's okay. Uh, so what we need to do is make a slip knot. You can do this any way that you like. Now you can use the magic ring or magic circle for this project but I like to use the chain four and join method. I just prefer that but if you want to use the magic circle then you can go for that. So I'm going to chain four. And then I'm going to join to the very first chain. I'm going to chain three. The chain three does not count as a stitch in this pattern. It's basically sort of like a filler. It fills in that little gap that we always get when we um, start a new round. So what we're going to do is I put 14 double crochets into the ring but if you find that's too many stitches you can go 13, you could go 12. Um, I think any less than 12 it's not going to lay flat. But I find with my tension in this yarn that 14 stitches works really well. And that chain three is not counted as a stitch. So the hole is quite small. It's just there. So we're going to yarn over and go into there. If you find your chain four is too tight, try a chain, chain five and that might be easier for you to do. But I've made so many of these. I've made hundreds. I sell these at a local shop and they go really, really well. So... Like I said, I'm going to choose 14 because that's what works for me. If that just doesn't work for you, then that's okay. You can definitely change the pattern up. Um, so I'd try 13 first. I'd do probably two rounds. And then if that's not laying flat, then go with the 12. But I find that 14 does not ruffle and it also doesn't curve up because it's too tight. And I'm crocheting over my towel as I go because I use that to cinch the center in. I'm not actually counting, I'm just putting in a heap of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 14 stitches plus the chain three, so 
technically all together we've got 15 but the first chain three does not count as a stitch so what we're going to do do is join at the top of the very first double crochet so that is just there and we're going to join with a slip stitch then we are going to work two double crochets in every stitch around again we're going to chain three this does not count as a stitch and we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into there because that's the top of the double crochet and work two double crochets into the rest of the stitches we are going to work two double crochets in every stitch So pause the video and I will meet you when we have finished the round and we're ready to join. I am up to the joining part and we are at the end of our round and I've just done my two double crochets in there and we're going to join to the first double crochet which is this one here. This is our chain three that we're going to ignore so just like before we're going to join into the top of the double crochet going under both loops at the top there and then just joining that together if at any stage that your face scrubby is the size that you want you can obviously just stop this is a thinner yarn and I normally do three rounds but if you're using a thicker yarn than I am then you may only need two rounds or you may only use three rounds it is completely up to you into our first stitch, so I've just done my chain three while I was talking, sorry about that. Um, is the first stitch again, which is the double crochet. That's the chain three. So in that double crochet at the top, I'm going to work two stitches. So two double crochets. Into the next stitch, I am going to work one double crochet. So into the next one there. into the next stitch I am going to work two double crochets so our repeat for this round is one double crochet into the next stitch and then two in the next so I need to do one into the next stitch and two into the next one So work this all the way around and I will see you when we are ready for the joining. Pause the video and I'll see you there. I am just coming up to my last stitch which is just one double crochet. And then we're going to join into the first double crochet which is just here. And that's it. That's all we have to do. And we just need to snip off our end, uh, snip off our yarn and sew in our ends. I, like I said, I've made so many of these. They sell so well. And what I do is I make them up in uh, like a little set of three and they're different colours. So I have this one and it comes with pink and a purple one. We also have this cream and it comes with... Uh, it comes with a blue and a grey one and there's another set that comes with yellow and like a peachy colour with this um, neutral, it's just a cream this colour and they, they sell really really well. I've had great feedback on them, one of my friends uses them every single day in her shower and then just hangs them up to dry and then she said when they get a bit grubby I literally just throw them in the washing machine so that's good to know um, I would suggest if you do have one of those little laundry bags then I would suggest 
using that just in case it gets stuck sometimes like bra hooks get stuck on cotton and things like that and they just pull the stitches which is really frustrating So we can cut off our yarn end. I must have sewn the other one in completely because it's gone. <laughs> Please share your creations on our Facebook page. Tag me on Instagram or all the things. I'd really love to know what colour you've made yours. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy crochet.